Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Larry Snow and in today's video, we're gonna be finishing up our series on protecting your privacy, data, and security on social networks. In this last video, we're gonna be going over your Twitter account and protecting your privacy and data. So let's get started. All right, so I am over on my Twitter account and we're going to go to get over to our privacy and settings we have to go over to our little icon here in the top right click on that go down to settings and privacy and we will be greeted with a plethora of things to go through and right off the bat they give us the account the biggest thing here under the account section is login verification Again, I've said this, I think, all along, two-factor authentication is very important. In this case, they're calling it login verification, but it does the same thing. When uh, Twitter doesn't recognize you from a particular browser, you've put this in place. It adds an extra layer of security where it sends you a specified code and only and it sends it to your SMS in, in this instance. and in your text message, you take that code, put it into the browser, and, ver and verify that it is you. And Twitter says, okay, you're good to go. Very important, it's not a recommendation anymore, people. It is mandatory. Don't skip that. And the rest of the stuff is really not that thrilling. So let's go to the big guy here, privacy and safety. Uh, the big thing here, well, there's a few things I think you need to review. Uh, tweet location. I have it checked off. That's just my personal decision. Uh, my suggestion is you keep it off. As you've seen probably from some of my videos, it's, it's very easy to track someone as they move along in the world with their location ticked off. So if you're concerned about that, uncheck it. The big thing right now is I've seen a lot of photo tagging going on. It wasn't really big a while ago, but a lot of people are adding me to photos or they were adding me to photos until I turned it off. So similar to what Facebook does, you know, you can set that up in settings in Facebook where it says, don't uh, let me review anyone who's tagged me. So here you can do that here uh, or you can say don't allow. So I don't allow anyone. <laughs> okay, uh, discoverability. I don't, uh, it says let other find me by email and, and, and address and phone number. I don't have that checked off because those people who have that information already can do it through those vehicles. They can email me or they can tell, call me. So I didn't see a need to check those off. Manage your accounts, exact, manage your contacts is exactly that. You can uh, upload contacts, add contacts, uh, that type of thing from your address book. I don't see a need for that. The big thing here I think is personalization and data. And if we click on the edit, and by the way, it's like the smallest thing on this page, right? You click on edit, and you have this list that appears, and I have pretty much everything checked off, just my decision, because the personalization adds effects, features, you know, you get the, the tweets that are related, more related to you, and that type of thing. So I have pretty much a lot of things checked off. Um, I unchecked share data through select partnerships. So Twitter will share your data with their partners. And I just didn't see a need for that. And, and if you know, also, I also have it unchecked for personal ads. I don't see a need for that. But personalize across all devices. Yeah, I'd like to have that personalized based on the places you've been. Yeah, you know, I, you know I'm, I'm a, sort of a local guy. So I wanna see what, what tweets are happening in certain areas, yeah. And track where you want where you see Twitter content across the web. Yeah, sounds good. Email and notifications. I have almost all of these checked off except for the one news about Twitter products and features, feature updates. I don't have that checked off. Oh, and I also don't have tips tips on Twitter business products. Because I think all they'll send me is stuff about ads. I don't really go into Twitter that often, so I will go check my emails quite frequently. And that's why I rely on some of these uh, features checked off here. Uh, top tweets and stories, updates about performance of my tweets, 
uh, tips on getting more about Twitter, you know, all that type of stuff I think is useful. And it's up to you whether you want to check all these off like me <laughs> or not. All right, then we go down to notifications. And I have who have confirmed your email, who haven't confirmed their phone number. So this is about muting. And I, I don't want to get notifications from people who have not confirmed their email and have not confirmed their phone number. Uh, I could also check who have default profile photo, but I'll let that slide. And I could also check if I'm really uh, concerned, I will check uh, they don't, you don't follow them. So you won't get any notifications from people that don't follow you. I also have chalked off the quality filter. So that's more of the personalization type of thing. It shows me the best tweets, the tweets that I'm interested in through what Twitter has personalized for me and all that. If you want to learn more about the quality filter, you can click on the learn more. Muted accounts. I don't mute anyone because if you offend me in a variety of ways from <laughs> nudity, pornography, uh, swearing, whatever your stick is, whatever you think you want to need to say and I'm seeing it uh, or it's directed towards me I block you no questions about that another feature which I have yet to do but I think it might be necessary uh, to so to prevent people from being blocked is just to mute the words that they're saying in their tweets if I add a particular word uh, that's associated with those types of accounts, I won't see their tweets and they won't be able to reach me. So, or I won't be able to see them anyway. Okay, blocked accounts is exactly that. You can go in and you can review all of your blocked accounts or you can unblock them if you want. I won't <laughs> show you the hundreds of ones that I've blocked over the years. And then we have apps. Now again, all along here, we've looked at this apps. Who's connected to your Twitter account? So we've looked at it in Facebook and LinkedIn, and now here again in Twitter. You wanna make sure that the apps that have access to your account are the apps that you want to have access to your account, right? So I have to force myself to remember to do this uh, more often than not because I try out a lot of things as a social media manager and, and a marketing person. I try out a lot of apps and some of the apps I go, I just forget about. I said, okay, I'm on to the next one. And then I forget that it's connected to my account and I have to remember to say, okay, let me go in and check and make sure I can uh, delete some of these that are no longer uh, necessary to have access to my account. All right, and the last one we're gonna go over is data, Twitter data. So all you need to do here is just click on confirm password uh, and then click confirm and then you'll be able to review all of your Twitter data. So you can go through here and you can edit different things. If you want to switch your username, that's a, probably a big one. Switch your email again, phone number. Uh, they want to, let's see, you have 25 browsers associated with your account. So you can go in there and click on learn more. And then a login history, you can see your last 44 logins. Again, this is a neat security feature here, folks. If you rec don't recognize those logins anywhere in the last 44 logins that in this case where I've logged in, I should notify Twitter saying, I think someone's trying to get into my account or it has <laughs> got into my account and, and shouldn't. Um, and then I can also remove places I've been. And then it goes into some more of the uh, personalization and the data and the ads. So this is probably another big thing that you will need to review. So that'll do it for this one. Thanks so much for sticking around, I appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up also helps me understand what you're interested in. So that really helps out a lot. And if you really like the series on the data and security and privacy settings on social networks, uh, a thumbs up helps me know that that's something you're interested in and I'll do more videos on that. Also leave comments below and tell me what you think of these types of videos and that helps out too. Please click the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I appreciate it. That way you get notified when new videos go up. If you want more information on me or uh, more, articles on social media, marketing, security, 
check out larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.